Welcome back to the channel guys. As you can see, I'm not alone today. I'm joined by Mutz. Hi guys. You might remember Mutz from when we were wine wrapping this bad boy. Um, so he tends to work with me when we're looking, well, doing anything to cars, modifications, etc. He's also the face behind the camera. So you're probably wondering right now, who's behind the camera if we're in front of it? <laughs> Keep you thinking. What we're going to be doing is something slightly different. So these ones are going to be called a mod series. And essentially what we're trying to do is show you guys some cheap, affordable ways that you can make a variety of cars better. So we're going to have A3s, S3s. Shout out to Renz for giving us his S3 for this video. Um, what was that? Well, I was cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that in there because this is going to be a lot more informal in these videos. So it's going to be a bit more of our personal sides coming out. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But like I was saying, there's going to be a lot more different cars, um, A3s, S3s, Supras, anything we can get our hands on really. So we're going to be showing you how to do easy stuff, um, looking at performance, what you can do to make your cars a little bit faster, looking at styling. Um, what else can you usually look at? I don't know, interior stuff as well? So it uh, depends, depends what we can get our hands on. So don't worry, we are still going to be doing the regular content that you guys um, have grown to love. Or anything they want to see. Ooh. Have you got a mod that you want to see desperately? Let us know in the comments down below. This sounds like one of those claim things. <laughs> um, um, have you been hit by a bus? <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to leave this shit in for now. Um, just so it's going to get to know us a little bit more. But we're going to start off with the Audi S3. So you probably saw that in the trailer earlier this week. We're going to show you a nice, quick, free thing to do to make it sound a little bit what would you say, more like an S3, right? What, yeah. what you would expect, rather than a Dyson hairdryer. Oh, oh. oh. oh Tesla. <laughs> or Tesla, <laughs> Tesla, yeah. Um, don't mean any offense by that, guys, but most S3 owners on the new shape will actually agree with us. The sound's not quite there. Um, this is now gonna show you one easy thing you can do to improve it a little bit, and we'll obviously keep coming back to it um, and see what we can improve over the time. But I think, I need to go change into something a bit more comfortable and we'll quickly show you how to do that. Thanks guys. Right guys, so what we're going to be doing is disconnecting the valves that are running inside the exhaust pipe. So um, by default, when you go over a certain rev, so if you're absolutely flooring it, they open up. Otherwise, if you put it in dynamic mode, um, they open up as well. So it ends up making the car feel a little bit louder. What we'll do now is I'll throw in a clip of where we're switching between the flaps so hopefully you can hear it electronically opening and closing and also give you a quick rev idea so whilst you're on idle what it sounds like in efficiency mode and then what it sounds in dynamic with the valves open Right guys, what you're going to do is underneath the car, I'll try to get in focus, focus even. That little box over there, that you can see there right, right now in focus, I uh, will put an arrow just to make it a bit easier. What you want to do is disconnect that plug and obviously you want to disconnect it when the valves are already open. So the way to do this is start the car whilst it's in dynamic, the valves are going to be open and then you pretty much just unplug that and that's it, they'll permanently stay open and away you go with a little bit of a louder S3. So I'll show you how to do it while it's off so you can hear me, but basically finger on the top of the clip like so, and pull it, and that's it, that's your cable off. Once it's off, what you want to do is just um, cable tie it out of the way, nice and simple, somewhere where it's not touching the exhaust so it's not gonna get burnt. So it's as simple as that. Hopefully that shows you how to make it work, showing you what the difference is. I'm now going to start the car and obviously do that for real with the valves open, disconnect it, that way the valves can't close again. And the main thing is really just, like I said, make sure you tuck the cable out of the way away from the exhaust. It's as simple as that guys. So 
we're gonna be having plenty more content so make sure you hit that subscribe button but until then make sure you give us a fat thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one thanks guys